drama. A subject that people associate with being gay, nerdy, and a bit of a bollock subject to take, really. Well, in actual fact, it is quite the opposite. As soon as you step through the studio doors, it opens up a world of possibilities. Endless adventures where you could be sailing the seven seas, escaping from a burning building, making love to a beautiful girl. Cat. A beautiful girl. A beautiful girl, I was better. Anything is possible here. And you can just see it in the faces of everyone. Well, everyone who isn't thinking about what the love child of Hitler and Satan would look like. And everyone has their own little way about them too. I wonder what the love child of Hitler and Satan would look like. I guess it would look a bit like Mr. Tumnus with a licorice all sort on his top lip. Anyway, everyone has their own little way about them too. I mean, for example, this kid here, Leslie, the sixth form pervert. Funny kid, but such a dirty minded bastard. If we could channel into his mind, it would probably be saying something like this. Tits, pussy, fudge, ass, sex, shagging, 69s, milfs, gilfs, great gilfs, you ten girls, you nine girls, you eight girls, you seven girls, what do I do with you seven girl? If they're old enough to bleed, they're old enough to breed. Eighteen years ago, he came out of a vagina and he spent the next eighteen years trying to get back in one. Then there is Dan, aka Danga Management. He is moody, aggressive, constantly on the defence, and he is a shining example of what a boy would be if he had a period, otherwise known as manstration. Then there's Nigel. <laughs> Lovely kid, but I've never known such a feminine but apparently straight guy. If you ever met him, you would put money on him being gay. But apparently it seems he has a new girlfriend every month. Now, who is it? I think it's some um, Michelle girl. Of course we could all be completely wrong, and he could be the next Russell Brand. Or he is so deep in the closet, he's riding Asman. Now the girls, firstly, Genevieve. Don't be deceived by her looks. She's a right bitch. Her parents own some big organisation, and for that reason, she is stuck up, high maintenance, and believes the sun shines out of her ass. And she's possibly the most annoying person in this class. Correction. This is the most annoying person in this class. Shannon. The human megaphone. Everything she says is about 12 decibels louder than anyone else's voice. And the way she says things is they just make you want to find a very high cliff and jump off it into a sea of sharks and piranha and crocodiles. Well, you get the picture. And to add to that, she's delusional. She actually believes she's going to make it to drama school and become an actor. She is shit. She once treated us with a lovely monologue last year. I think it lasted about 10 seconds and then she forgot her lines. And then we had a half hour excuse of why she forgot her next line. You know, she just makes me want to. She was a boy. I would have punched her in the face by now. And there's Priscilla. Priscilla Adams. Ironic name, eh? The family on the funeral home down the village. The Adams family funeral home. She's possibly the scariest person 
I have and will ever need. Dick McMurray, Bill from the rest of Priscilla. Then there's Annie, the human chinchilla. Never says a word. Looks like another late night on the town for Stacy. And finally, Katie. Two words. Wank. Bank. And this is our teacher, Mr. Ryan. Which is quite an ironic story because he is a compulsive liar. He once told me of a man he knew when his nipple chewed off by a horse. Now, a couple of things wrong with that. First of all, I'm pretty sure you would know if a horse was chewing your nipple off. And secondly, there would be an excruciating amount of pain. I mean, you wouldn't just stand there and let it, you know, take it while the horse chewed your nipple off, would you? Total bollocks. Hope you've all had a good summer. I know I did. Two weeks of sun and sea in the south of Spain. We haven't been sat down for two minutes, he's already started lying to us. What? But I'm gone all day. How do you know that? Because if he really went on holiday to the sunny south of Spain, then how come he looks as pale as Casper the friendly fucking ghost? Good point. Year 13. Do you know, I can still remember teaching some of you in year 7. <laughs> how time flies, eh? But I am really glad to be seeing all of you taking drama right to the very end. <laughs> um, what I'd like us to do is, I'd like to go around and I'd like each of you to tell me something you did this summer that uh, you enjoyed or was unusual or, um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what we get. And we'll start with you, Katie. Well, I went to Lanzarote with my family for two weeks, which was really nice, and while we were there, we went to this beach. White sand, lovely blue sea. And then after about ten minutes, we realised it was a nudist beach. You were naked? No, I just had to pack up my stuff and find another beach. That image is going to keep me occupied tonight. What? The family packing up on a beach? No, Katie completely stripped. But she wasn't naked, was she? Well, she is now. Annie? What about you? Oh, we're not having another year of this, are we? Why do you take drama when you don't talk? Matt? Annie? Did you have a good summer? Next. I performed an exorcism on a hamster. Next. Well, I took my horse Quantro. <laughs> <laughs> Quantro. What a ridiculous name for a horse. Excuse me, Quantro and I have a special bond. <laughs> I've seen uh, videos about girls who have special bonds with horses. I hate you. <laughs> I can just imagine Jeeves driving Quantro down the beach. She'd be like the new Lloyd's TSB advert. <laughs> my name is Genevieve, not Jeeves. And if you keep calling me that, then... I shall have to think of a hard name for you. Ooh! Give me your best shot, Jeevo. I had a horse once, but my dad took it off me because he thought I was riding him too much. I bet you were. <laughs> Stop it, you. OK, enough. We'll end it there since some people are too immature to take part in a simple task. Oh, no, sir, I, I, I want to tell you about my summer. Here we go. Very well. What did you do, Shannon? Well, I went to the Lake District and it was beautiful there. It was so nice, so peaceful and so tranquil. So then you turned up. <laughs> right, Matt! I will see you lunchtime, please. I'll hold you to that, sir.